we are done with symmetry and reciprocity in two port networks and uh, now we will start a new topic in our chapter two port networks and uh, the topic is interconnection of two port networks and uh, the first type of interconnection we are going to understand is series series interconnection in this type of interconnection two or more two port networks are connected in series series manner now you will ask me what is series series so i will explain it after constructing the simplest series series interconnection and the simplest series series interconnection will have two two port networks and uh, let's say our first two port network is na i'm calling this network na and uh, this is the port number 1 or the input port and this is the port number 2 or the output port and uh, let's say voltage at input port is v1a and the voltage at output port is v2a the input current is i1a and we know the same current will leave the two port network from the second terminal of input port and uh, let's say the output current is i 2a and the same current will leave the network from the second terminal of output port and uh, now let us take our second two port network and i will call it and b and uh, the input voltage of this two port network is let's say v1b and the output voltage is v2b the input current is i1b and the same current will leave the network and the output current is let's say i2b and the same current will leave the network so these are our two two port networks and in order to have the series series interconnection of these two networks i will join these two terminals of network na and network nb and i will also join these two terminals of network na and network nb and apart from this for better understanding i will extend this terminal i will extend this terminal i will extend this terminal and also this terminal now when you observe carefully you will find network na along with network nb are forming a larger two port network and uh, let's say the input voltage of the larger two port network is equal to v1 and the output voltage is equal to v2 and uh, let's say the input current entering the two port network via this terminal is equal to i1 and we know the same current will leave the two port network via this terminal and uh, let's say the output current is equal to i2 entering the network via this terminal and uh, we know the same current will leave the network via this terminal and we can see that current i1 is equal to i1a current i1 is equal to current i1a and current i1 is equal to i1b it is equal to i1b current i2 is equal to i2a current i2 is equal to current i2a and it is equal to current i2b it is equal to current i2b now apply kvl in this loop and you will find we have plus v1 plus v1 then we have minus v1a after this we have minus v1b equal to 0 so from here we will have voltage v1 equal to v1a plus v1b let's say this is equation number 1 apply kvl in this loop and you will find v2 is equal to v2a 
plus v to b and uh, let's say this is our equation number two now i will explain why we are calling this interconnection series series interconnection we know in a series combination the current through the elements remains the same and the voltage across them are added and when you focus on the port number one that is the input port of first network and the input port of second network you will find current i1a is equal to current i1b that is the input current of the first network is same as the input current of the second network and also v1 is equal to v1a plus v1b that is the input voltage of the first network is getting added to the input voltage of the second network and therefore we can say that the input port of the first network is in series combination with input port of the second network and therefore we are using the word series and uh, when you focus on the output port of the first network and the output port of the second network you will find current i to a is equal to current i to b that is the output current of the first network is same as the output current of the second network and also v2 is equal to v2a plus v2b that is the output voltage of the first network is getting added to the output voltage of the second network and therefore the output port of the two networks are in series so now i hope you understand why we are calling this interconnection series series interconnection now from equation number one and equation number two we can have the matrix form we will have one two by one matrix having the elements v1 and v2 and this will be equal to the sum of two two by one matrices and uh, the first two by one matrix will have the elements v1a and v2a v1a and v2a and this two by one matrix will have the elements v1b and v2b v1b and v2b now if you have followed the earlier lectures you will understand that we can write this matrix equal to the z parameters matrix of network na multiplied to the two by one matrix having the elements i1a and i2a we will have this matrix equal to the z parameters matrix of network na multiplied to two by one matrix having the elements i1a and i2a current i1a and current i2a and we can write this matrix equal to the z parameters matrix of network nb multiplied to two by one matrix having the elements i1b and i2b current i1b and current i2b and uh, we can write current i1a and current i1b equal to i1 so i will replace i1a by current i1 and i1b by current i1 and uh, we can write current i2a and current i2b equal to current i2 so we will replace them by current i2 so we can see that we have the same matrix multiplied to matrix za and matrix zb and therefore we can take it common so in the next step we have matrix with the elements v1 and v2 equal to the sum of matrix za and matrix zb multiplied to the matrix having the elements i1 and i2 and uh, this is nothing but the matrix form of the equations we have for the larger two port network 
and therefore we can say that this should be the z parameters matrix of the larger network therefore the z parameters matrix of the larger network or the overall network should be equal to the sum of z parameters matrix forming the larger network so this is our final result it is important so remember it and i hope you know the matrix addition and therefore i am not extending it further however i think i should write one z parameter of the larger network and the remaining three you can write on your own let's say z11 is the parameter of the larger two port network and uh, we know it is open circuit driving point input impedance then from here we can say that z11 will be equal to z11a plus z11b following the same process you can find out the other three z parameters of the larger network now what if we are connecting n two port networks in series series interconnection then in that case the z parameters matrix of the larger network will be equal to the z parameters matrix of the first network plus the z parameters matrix of the second network all the way to the z parameters matrix of the nth network so this is all for this lecture in the coming lectures we will solve questions on the interconnection of two port networks